Hey, and welcome back to the channel. So as you might know, Call of Duty Warzone is one of my favorite games to play online right now. And uh, usually getting ready to play, getting locked and loaded, everything's ready to start. And then all of a sudden, just like that, I'm at my desktop. It crashes for no reason. I have no idea why. Some people are saying it might be an update issue. Some people are saying it's a gameplay issue. Maybe it's a PC issue. Really, I don't know what it is, but there is a file paging method that can fix it for some people. So let me show you how to do it. It's quick and easy, and we'll do it right now. Now, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you're on YouTube, hit the alert notification. Okay, let's just start off where people are usually left. And when the game crashes, you're usually at this screen right now, uh, the launch pad for the Warzone game um, by Battle.net. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go up to the top. We're going to minimize it, get it out of the way, or you can just close out of it, whatever you want to do. Uh, and then we're going to open up the Windows File Explorer. So this is the Windows File Explorer. File Explorer. And you see this PC on the left-hand side. We're going to right-click on it and go to Properties. So inside here, we're going to go to the right-hand side again and look for Advanced System Settings. We're going to click on that. And then we get the Systems Property window. Let me just minimize out of this so you can see it properly. Okay, and you wanna be at the advanced tab. So make sure you're at the advanced tab. And then inside here under performance, we wanna to go to settings, click on that. And then this window is gonna open up. So we're gonna click on the advanced tab one more time. And then we get virtual memory. So this is the paging filing system for Windows 10. We're gonna increase it because by default, we have a little over 2000 megs right here. And we wanna increase it to allow it to have more space. Now we can see here that my game drive here is the D drive on my PC. Uh, the games are huge, so I have to have a separate hard drive for them. So we can't do anything without enabling it. So we have to uncheck this and now we can select it. Okay, so you can see you can select it right now and then we can have custom sizes. Okay, so right now we're just under 3000. We're gonna select this and I'm gonna put in 10,000 as the minimum size as well as the maximum size. So we're gonna have 10,000 and 10,000. And then we have this set. When we have that in here, we can click on set and then okay. And then we get a prompt that we have to restart the system for these changes to take effect. And that's important because if you just try to play right now, it's not gonna work. So here again, we can just click okay. And then we click okay to the next window and we'll get this prompt here to restart your computer. So that's all you have to do. We're giving it more space on the system to use. Uh, to, to store things temporarily in the filing system uh, because maybe RAM isn't enough, maybe the disk space isn't enough and it just needs to be increased. So I don't know, this may not work for you, okay? I'm just being honest, it may not work for you. It's helped a lot of other people. Um, if it does, let me know in the comments. If it doesn't, well, I don't know, I don't know what to say. I'm gonna keep looking for different things to help these crashes. It is annoying, I don't care. You can have the best system and this game for whatever reason still crashes. Good luck to you guys. Uh, let me know what you think. I'm going to keep looking for other alternate fixes and I'll have some more posted as I come across them uh, when I get them on Discord or wherever. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.